Well, welcome to Life Town. We like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to be here and would like to answer any questions you have. There's a lack of youth um, mental health and fitness. What do you want to do with your elect? Well, I think uh, youth mental health is probably one of the biggest issues, and it's I think you can couple it pretty much with the area of suicide prevention. Um, and I think there's places of engagement which we can, where we can where we can um, where we can meet young people and where we can talk to them about those issues. So I think particularly the two youth centres we have in Fingers the Den and the Fingers Youth Resource Centre are two places where young people are coming, where we have trained youth workers and where where we can talk with them about these kind of issues. And I think with youth mental health what you have to have is you have to have programs in place that support youth workers. So youth workers aren't the people who are going to be able to assist people over the longer term in their, with their mental health, but they are the people that will be able to spot those issues first and then to refer them on to, to other programmes. So I think we do need stronger services um, and we've recently had PA the House open in, in the Ballymun area and I'd love to see uh, the Fingal Suicide Network and PA the House working together here in the Fingal area. Um, why are you and your party going to improve the youth services? For example, um, activities, stuff like that? Well, I think the, the big issue over the last number of years with the youth service has been uh, there's been a reduction in funding. Now, in some ways, that has challenged us to be more creative in the type of youth work that we do and in the type of things that we do. But equally, if you have less resources, you can do less. So I think over the last number of years, I'm on the board of the Fingers Youth Resource Centre and I've worked very closely with the DEN. Um, and I think we need, to look, we need to go back and look at the changes that have been made and to see that now how new money coming into the system will help us to expand the service. I'd like to see more um, street work and more outreach because I think that's where young people are engaging. But there's a big challenge about whether you target money for children who are most at need and who are in very vulnerable situations. And then there's a broader group of people, or young people who um, maybe aren't, aren't in a particularly vulnerable family or in particularly vulnerable circumstances, but they have, um, they're in a gang of kids that are hanging around and they may be susceptible to peer pressure. And so in, that, in those situations, we still have to have services for those people. So it's not good enough just to target services for, people, for vulnerable families, although that's absolutely needed and it's our first call. We also need then more general youth work services that will work with young people. And then that has a spin-over effect into, um, for example, older people feeling safer in the community. Sometimes older people don't feel safe because there's a gang of young people. And that's not the young people's fault. Okay, and so we have, what we have to do is give young people places in which they can feel safe to hang out uh, and to enjoy themselves um, and at the same time address the fears of, of the older people. Um, in your regards to saying uh, peer pressure and stuff, there's um, no youth addiction services, for example, stronghold and stuff like that. Is it strong? Headstrong. Headstrong, sorry. Yeah, I, I agree, John. Again, I go back to. Um, national services linking in the places where young people are. So, for example, um, the Fingers Youth Resource Centre do have good points of engagement um, around uh, lesbian, gay, and bisexual um, young people, and we've dealt with some of the organisations that, that deal in that area. And I think you're right, we do need specific medical programmes you know, that will respond, respond to that issue around addiction. I think the work of the um, Fingers and Cabaret Uncle Bruce Class Force has been really good over the years. Like I was on the board for a year there and you can see that the money really is going to projects that are needed. Um, I suppose, that, like all the sectors, they have received cuts in funding. And again, we need, as money flows back into the system, we have to make sure best practice is, is, is rewarded and, and that it's targeted. Um, what do you and your party stand for? That's a good question, actually. Um, because we're knocking on the doors and people are, people are asking us, what do, what, do, what, what do I stand for and what does the party stand for? To me, at the moment, politics is, we're being told that one group of society has been told, look, we need to look after the economy and if we do well, you'll do well. And then there's another group of people being told, look, we can supply everything to you, everything is unfair and it won't cost anything to fix it. And I think politics isn't like that, life isn't like that. It's not black and white. You need to take the whole community into account. And I don't think there's anyone in, in Ireland at the moment offering a vision of the whole community. So you shouldn't have to choose between a strong economy and a fair society. Now that sounds like a slogan, but that, that, that's a, across, all across Europe, there's lots of parties that are in that space that say you can grow the economy, create jobs, 
but be fair at the same time, and you can you can uh, ha have good quality conditions for working people. And the analogy I use is, in every village we have, you have to have the shopkeeper and the shop worker doing well in order for the village to grow. And so that applies in our village here, it applies to people working in good stores and the zero error contracts that they have been susceptible to. And it applies then to, at a national level. If we're going to be bringing multinationals in, then the money that come in through them is to use those resources and to grow an economy in the right place. So I've compared us to the other parties out there by saying, I think Fianna Fáil are fairer than Fianna Gael and we're safer than Sinn Féin. And I think in putting that forward, with the centre grounds, we can tackle poverty, we can tackle um, uh, disadvantage, we can tackle um, issues around addiction, but we can do it with the resources of our own economy. I fear that the people who are trying to go to the extremes aren't doing that. And you say people going to the extremes and stuff, do you think the popular parties and stuff out there are going to, what they're saying they're actually going to do, they're actually going to go ahead with it and make it happen, or are they just going to choose to get elected? Well, isn't that the problem? And, and I suppose I try very hard this election not to make promises. The only promise you can really work to say is that you'll work hard and be a voice for your area. But where we've said that there's money that could be spent, we have said where we would, where we would spend it. Um, the, when you say popular parties, will, will they change their mind? I think everybody goes into politics wanting to, to do the right thing, all of the political parties. I think all of them uh, have priority areas for them. But my worry is, is that they won't be able to deliver it and then that creates a, a distrust in politics. And we saw that, particularly I think with the Labour Party in the last election, where they were very anxious that they would get into power um, because it looked like it was going to be a Fine Gael, the single party government. And they made a number of promises and I think they got themselves in trouble for that. And we can't repeat that. And the big problem with the bill and the bust was we spent too much and we taxed too little. And I'm starting to hear all of those things again. So as someone in a party who made those mistakes, I have a responsibility to say, we can't make those mistakes again. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, 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 Thanks,